Well guys, what's that crack? So Alexander Mitrovic is out the door now. His return to Andalek may have broken down, but he's now been banished to Fulham. God help him. Will the Geordies miss him? Mitrovic, who's gone out on loan today. What are your thoughts on that? Is Mitrovic worse, any worse than Hoslo? Is he? Disappointed. I think he didn't get enough of a chance. I really wish they'd give him a chance, to be honest. He's only a young lad. He's a young lad, and I don't think he's had a fair crack of the whip. No, I would have played no. him every week. All the strikers are rubbish. He offers something different, especially in the light of what the way Jocelyn has been playing lately. I think Mitrovic is certainly worth a go. He maybe isn't the paciest guy in the world, but he's he's a physical player. I like him. Rafa doesn't like him. I trust Rafa, so <laughs> simple as that. But Benitez 100%, but there is times where I thought he could have maybe been given a few more chances, like, yeah. Because I was striking as well, we've got not exactly prolific, are He's a prolific scorer for Serbia. He can't be all that bad. Maybe the ability wasn't there, but in terms of the strikers we had available, he was probably the most prolific Premier League wise. What's a little girl? Perez, any of them, as I say, so maybe, yes, he could have possibly been given a little bit more of a chance. I mean, the last time Mitrovic was in the Premier League, he scored nine goals. Uh, it's not bad. Oh, no. I think the fans sort of identify with Mitrovic because it's like having a fan on the pitch. He's always loved this club. This is why he came from Anderlecht. Um, because obviously his idols, Alan Shearer. Well, he admitted when he was younger to being a Newcastle supporter and a partisan Belgrade supporter. You know, you can see it, and he's, he's passionate when he's on the pitch. That passion gets the better of him sometimes. I just wish he would be less hot-headed and focused on the game. And I think sometimes he's hot and ruled his head. He's got a bit of a hot temper, but he is only a young lad. Give him a bit of time, you know what I mean? Let him... I don't know. He's I think he's definitely worth a go. Better than Hazlo, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't better than him? Fans love him because he knows, he gets it, he gets the fans involved. He's a fan's favourite. But then people say the other side of him where he's lazy, doesn't score enough goals, his attitude problem, his uh, reputation on the pitch for getting sent off. Why do you think he's not Rafa's cup of tea? Do you think it's all to do with the hot headedness? Could be the hot headedness. Yeah, he's a bit lethargic across the pitch at times, isn't he? I think he's got this cult following because he because he waves his arms and punches punches his chest, then they think he's a good player for some reason. When really Hoslin's better at holding it up. There's like there's a myth that Mitrovic is good at hold up play. I've never ever seen it since he's been here. He's, he's good at fouling people and elbowing people and getting himself into trouble. And then he misses chances on top of that. I suppose his attitude on the pitch was questionable and you know he's got a bit of a temper at times and you know he's, he's picked up a few red cards here and there now when the game here against West Ham that got him banned for three games that probably didn't help his cause very much. I think if Rafa doesn't like you, you don't have a chance. You look at Roland Ahrens, he's been loaned out, doesn't rate doesn't him. Jack Kovac told him to leave, if you don't leave, he sits in the reserves, can't get a game. You know, chance of Bemba, I don't think he rates, he's another one. I think if Rafa just doesn't rate, I just think as Rafa says, it's business, if you're not good enough, you're not going to play. The manager doesn't fancy him, then there's not much we can do about that. And obviously, that's what's happened, and he's gone away on loan. I'm on his side, I'm definitely on Mitro's side. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.